We are in the midst of a humanitarian crisis here on U.S. soil. The Trump administration has failed to comply with the court order to reunify all the families that have been separated on the U.S. border. Families are still being kept apart and children are being kept in cages. We need to help these families. You're broken down and tired. <laughs> I met Dilma at an airport in Atlanta. My experience with Dilma has been one of long nights of trying to comfort a mother who was desperate to see her son. People need to know that our country is arresting and putting into for-profit prisons women and children who are coming to our country to seek safety. She called me on Friday bawling, crying, because she had spoken to Kenneth, who's eight years old, and for the first time in their two months apart, he had cried and begged to come home to her. There weren't any words to to comfort her. Children are taken away from the moms at night, usually at three or four o'clock in the morning, with the uh, pretext that they're gonna give the child a bath or they're gonna give them milk or they're gonna feed them. And then they're put into basically holding cells which are just uh, cages made out of fish wire. It's a crime. It's our crime. We, the rest of us who care about children, must speak up must do something like this. We meet the outcry. We're packing backpacks for the mothers and the children who are leaving the detention centers. We're packing the backpacks with love so that they know that there are people here who, who care for them because they have not had much kindness shown to them. I have been enraged. I have doubted the goodness of people at times. But what has also been extraordinary has been the love of people, um, the desire to help. Okay. So I'm like it's getting hard to breathe, and I know you feel like but I promise we would take the world to This family was one of the lucky ones, but many more are not being reunited. And now parents are being forced to pay to get their kids back. Please join us, help us reunite these families by donating to Families Belong Together at reunifyfamilies.org. We will not rest until all the separated children are out of cages and back in their parents' arms.